Good afternoon, everybody. It is Tuesday, the 30th of uh, March, and uh, we're on my day job today. I'm in the uh, real estate business, for those of you who don't know, and uh, I do a lot of work for banks and legal firms um, doing what's called court-appointed receivership, and today uh, I'm working on a receivership um, and we're liquidating the assets of a farm property in uh, South Kansas City, Missouri side, uh, south side of Kansas City, on the Missouri side, sorry. And uh, I'm currently picking up a transfer auger, which transfers grain, wheat, etc., into a uh, trailer. Uh, anyway, um, just thought I'd share a little bit of, the, little bit of this with you guys. Um, I'll get some pictures up here shortly. Uh, this is what I'm delivering right here. So what we'll be doing is having a um, auction. There's uh, approximately 900 acres of uh, agricultural grain farm property um, and about uh, 30, 40 pieces of equipment. Uh, trailer, Timken trailers, grain trailers, some semi trucks, uh, some service trucks, all kinds of stuff. But uh, I'll share them on the video here. But uh, I'd share what I do on a day to day basis. Um, and I uh, thought you guys might get a kick out of some of this equipment and stuff. Um, these receiverships are, are kind of tough. It's uh, usually a result of uh, uh, a distressed debtor, borrower ends up for whatever reason in various financial issues and the lending institutions that's not always a lending institution sometimes it can be a partner uh, of a limited liability company or some sort of partnership uh, whereby they would file uh, in the either state court or federal court for a what's called a receivership under what's allowed in loan documents um, under federal and state statutes. So anyway, um, our firm has put into place TV Realty Development. It's put into place to uh, act as a receiver. And uh, comparatively, it's like a trustee in a bankruptcy court uh, where we take over the operations of the business. The receivers generally can operate the business and try and see if we can get it profitable again where a trustee will not usually do that under a bankruptcy order. And the receiver will try and... Um, maximize the value of the assets through either operations uh, or some cases like this where you liquidate the assets. So uh, I'll bring some pictures here, have some more explanation, and I will also, uh, as the day proceeds, uh, show you the auction process this evening for the real estate from 5 to 8, and then um, tomorrow morning we will be liquidating the, um, the equipment which will be the tractors, trailers, combines, plows, etc. And uh, you guys can do all that. I'll try and keep this video short, but I thought uh, some of you guys might get a kick out of, uh, maybe kick's the wrong word, but might be interested in seeing, uh, like I say, what I do in the um, receivership process, etc. At this point in the auction, each parcel is being bid separately. And as this moves on, as you will see in a minute, there will be things called combinations, whereby combinations of each parcel may be bid, separate, bid together to create a higher bid option.
We had 30 seconds to beat 7,140. Anybody else? Last and final bids. 20. 15. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So. Yeah.